You saw me put it in the middle. And I, sort of like the I don't know if I had to say that, but it was in the thing. <laughs> The U.S. Army Sergeant David Popik secures a simulated casualty on a SCED basic rescue system during the expert field medical badge competition at the 7th Army Training Command's Grafenver Training Area, Germany. To qualify, soldiers must endure a multitude of events and tests, such as medical evacuations and treatments, land navigation, physical fitness and, chemical biological radioactive nuclear evaluations which improves the armed services' ability to respond more effectively and efficiently, which increases readiness. U.S. soldiers perform tasks to earn the expert field medical badge at the 7th Army Training Command's Grafenver Training Area, Germany. Soldiers are tested on multiple lanes, such as medical evacuations and treatments, land navigation, physical fitness and chemical biological radioactive nuclear evaluations to earn the badge, which improves the armed services' ability to respond more effectively and efficiently, which increases readiness.
couch retains, so we're going to go with the priority couch seat first. We're going to load him head first on the top and urge in, then we'll get all the control for it. Prepare to lift, lift, going to rotate. The two person carry the same. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and buckle these straps because I have to do this. I could get just uh, one of you guys to just flip it like this. Let's glitter on this side. And then, back. For booby traps, obstacles, and debris, before, at, and beyond. I do not see that. Prepare to lift. Lift. Prepare to rotate. Rotate. Four person carry move.
this. Flipped. Post carry, move. Try to rotate, rotate. Semi overhead carry, move. Alright, semi head over carry, move. Person carry move. Four person carry move. Sounds good. Well, I need to be my assistant. So what I'm gonna need you to do is I want you to mirror me. So take the wrist, hold me like that. Hold me tight. Now I'm gonna lower it. You can go ahead and take a seat, and you can put your arms around the shoulders. Spread his uh, legs open, please. And take a knee facing the direction of movement, please. And then you're going to grab behind his uh, knees. Perfect. Just like that. Prepare to lift. Lift. Buddy, check it out. We're gonna be moving you from here down to that area over there. Sounds good? Perfect. Right here is his waist. And then you're gonna mirror what I do, right? Right, look. Last three weeks obviously has been uh, confirming validation and going through training and then this last week has been testing for our uh, expert field medical badge. A uh, lot of rain, a lot of cold, but just taking it day by day. Uh, today we went through the tactical combat casualty care lane, it's about an hour and 45 minutes where it is uh, uh, essentially treating three casualties going through the the U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Zachary Alim, a 68-wing assigned to Vicenza Medical Clinic, performs first aid on a simulated casualty at the Tactical Combat Casualty Care Lane during the Expert Field Medical Badge Competition at the 7th Army Training Command's Grafenver Training Area, Germany. Soldiers are tested on multiple lanes such as medical evacuations and treatments, land navigation, physical fitness and chemical biological radioactive nuclear evaluations to earn the badge, which improves the armed services ability to respond more effectively and efficiently, which increases readiness. Ear sounds in all lung fields. Ear sounds in all lung fields. Fantastic. I'm a 68 whiskey, so our bread and butter is triage. Um, so we're triaging these patients, but we're also uh, treating them by uh, life-threatening injuries. So if somebody has massive hemorrhaging, you know, sitting over there, 
I don't want to be working on uh, this guy's broken arm. I want to make sure that nobody's going to die from massive hemorrhaging first. Slowly release his uh, uh, hasty tourniquet, looking for any bright red bleeding to return. And then I'm gonna make sure that everybody has a, a good airway and everyone can breathe. March down, inspecting decap ELS tick. All right, palpating there. Still looking for equal rise and fall of the chest. Assessing him for progressive respiratory distress. All right. After that, start getting into the little subtle things, the medications. Aspirate, looking for Kool-Aid. Flushing, 10 mil syringe. Hypothermia. Continue to monitor this casualty. So, like what you saw today had the evisceration. All right, I wasn't terribly concerned about that initially, but eventually you got to treat that as well. Last year, I didn't feel overly confident going into TC3. This year, uh, hopped back into it between last year's training and then them going through it. This year, I felt very confident in. Uh, my ability to perform and uh, hopefully earn the